What's going on there, guys? Good Sunday evening. It is Earth Master here on the uh, live stream. January 30th, 2022 is the date. About 7.20 p.m. California time. And the uh, latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 3.0 out in the Puerto Rico area. Swarming continues out there in the Puerto Rico area. A little bit of earthquake activity in the Haiti area as well. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest movement here on the map by the USGS. Uh, showing that activity down here around the Caribbean Sea, including that uh, Haiti earthquake. We're actually in the Dominican Republic there. A 4.3 struck, uh, looks like a little bit earlier in that region. Also seen some further movement north of Honduras. So a little bit of pressure to the west here um, in this region, a 4.5. This one's pretty shallow in the Gulf of Hondur Honduras. Uh, into the North American region, seeing a swarm of activity all throughout uh, the California area, including a 4.1 that struck down in the Palomar Observatory, uh, just to the west of that region on the Elsinore Fault System. This area has been pretty active uh, over the last couple of weeks, including some movement in the uh, San Jacinto Fault area. I'm going to go back down to the 2.5 and above and get a little bit broader view of the uh, uh, seismic activity. We've seen a little bit, a little bit of larger movement here on the uh, creeping section of the San Andreas Fault as well. I believe this originally came in as a 3.0. Let me see here. There's, I'm pretty sure there's a 3. Point. There it is. It was hiding. It's hiding underneath that 2.8. So a 3.0 and a 2.8, 8.2 kilometers deep for those earthquakes there. Uh, right smack dab on the creeping section of the uh, San Andreas Fault. Actually, it looks like it's just to the south of there. Uh, creeping section looks like it ends roughly right around here to the north. But uh, either way, uh, kind of renewed heightened activity here on the San Andreas Fault. Also, the Ridgecrest region seen a uh, 2.5 earlier. But uh, big picture, uh, looking regionally up and down the state of California, pretty active all over, uh, pretty much all over the state, Nevada. Also uh, getting in some at, on uh, quite a bit of activity around the Tonopah area, across the Candelaria Hills here. Quite a few microquakes and uh, twos and whatnot in that area. A little bit larger quake this morning, a 3.9 on the western side of the highway here, Highway 3, into the Candelaria Hills, kind of out there where I was at uh, last year, uh, exploring uh, these old uh, little ghost towns and little abandoned areas. Pretty cool. Uh, to look at not a whole lot out there i think this is a road i took here uh, in that region <clears throat> just kind of out there uh, investigating uh, the earthquake activity i did feel one uh, when i was out there last year it's pretty cool i guess <laughs> just a little bump but uh yeah movement up and down the coast here as well into the uh, coastal range of northern california of course geyser activity down here this is very typical um hydrothermal pumping operations here uh, any given day, we could see 20, 30, 40 earthquakes. And sometimes the earthquake activity does get, uh, you know, up there around the three range and maybe sometimes even a four earthquake. Uh, but today, uh, definitely a good handful of quakes there in the microquake area uh, at that uh, hydrothermal operation power plant down there. Uh, movement into the north. Uh, looks like Covalo and the area to the north here. Uh, getting in on a little bit of activity as well. There's been a pretty good swarm of movement here to the east of Covalo. Uh, although today we're only looking at one earthquake, a 2.4 at 5.2 kilometers. So swarming activity dying down in that vicinity of California. Uh, not a whole lot to report here at the surface in the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's go ahead and check out the tremor map here real quick. <clears throat> and even this, boy, I tell you what, this is just continuing to die down. Um, there in the Cascadia picked up a little bit last night to about 22 epicenters of tremor and the day before that we had I think 121 today only uh, what do we got six six epicenters of tremor along the southern end of the Cascadia pretty much a very southern end into Northern California so uh, we continue the eerie quietness here along the Cascadia uh, up north into the Washington State area, some movement around Mount St. Helens. Looking at uh, eight earthquakes here, or seven, minus this one way up here, uh, around the vicinity of the crater area of Mount St. Helens. Uh, nothing significant, uh, just some earthquake activity 
around the four to five kilometer uh, range. And the deepest, or at least the uh, strongest one, appears to be a 1.6 so far in this area of Washington. We want to look at all the activity over the last seven days, looking at about, uh, well, 29 earthquakes or so in the uh, in that region. Stand by for one second here. Let me close this out. There we go. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it's not uncommon to see earthquake activity here at Mount St. Helens. Uh, but definitely kind of a, it seems like a little bit above the uh, normal earthquake activity that we normally see here. Um, 30 earthquakes within the last seven days. Uh, pretty good number. See if, see if it makes any difference here in the 30 day. Uh, yeah, jumps up to about 51 earthquakes here in the last 30 days around St. Helens. And uh, nothing's really changed as far as any updated statuses and whatnot goes. I didn't see any harmonic tremor at all in the um, the uh, volcanic seismicity map. Let's go ahead and check that out here at Mount St. Helens. And uh, these guys listing it there on the map as well. There is some uh, seismographs down here. Just got to find them underneath all the earthquakes and the uh, triangles. Here's a three component broadband station there. Looks like a September lobe. And this one here looks kind of messed up. It looks uh, that one looks a little over amplified, at least in my book, it looks like. Uh, there's the activity that we've seen yesterday. Some well-defined earthquakes. As uh, far as any new movement goes, it's kind of hard to tell with the exact uh, um, activity that I'm seeing here on this map. But it uh, looks like there has been, at least uh, in the last 24 hours. Go back to the 24-hour map there and you can see... Uh, some very small, very, very small earthquakes continue in there over the last 24 hours. So we'll watch it. We'll see uh, see what it does, right? These volcanoes directly related to the Cascadia subduction zone. Got the uh, Juan de Fuca plate here to the west. Uh, subducting down there underneath the North American plate, right? And a, at a distance down there, of course, you get to the uh, the uh, heat. And that begins to, uh, you know, create these volcanoes and whatnot and stir things up a little bit. So uh, we'll see if... Uh, We'll see how that goes in the coming weeks, but uh, once again, not abnormal to see earthquake activity there at Mount St. Helens. Uh, what else we got here? Yellowstone looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on there at Yellowstone. Let's check this out real quick while we're on the Yellowstone area. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot. This activity seen over here on the map uh, looks like it may be uh, associated with an earthquake distantly. I believe it's this earthquake right here in Idaho that kicked up. This is a three-pointer. Of course, Yellowstone sits over here uh, by a good distance, but uh, the seismographs do pick it up, and that's kind of what it picked it up. Uh, kind of what it picked up there on the Yellowstone graphs, uh, seeing a little bit of swarm of activity along the Sawtooth Fault area just north here. Uh, largest sequence of uh, quakes here. Looks like 3.0 so far in that magnitude there on the map. Uh, a little bit of activity around the Oklahoma region and Texas. New Madrid zone did pop up one today. One little bitty one there. Uh, Catron? Catron? Is that right? Catron or Catron? One of the two. <laughs> Missouri area. New Madrid zone. I know, I know. My uh, pronunciations of names. I, I see them in the comments all the times. Uh, all the time. I, somebody asked me, hey, you live in California and you can't pronounce uh, California town names? Well, sometimes, you know, I, I, don't, I don't live in this area of the state. I live up here in Northern California uh, where we got names such as Chico, Redding, Mount Shasta. You know, there's not a whole lot of the um, the um, these somewhat interesting names to uh, pronounce here. So, uh, but I'm learning, right? I am definitely learning here. I just, I, I don't know. I, this area of the state, I don't visit all too often and I don't know every single town here in the state. And when names pop up, uh, sometimes it can be a fun challenge, let me tell you. So anyway, yeah, a little bit of activity around the New Madrid zone. Just one, the eastern part of the country, looking pretty quiet. Uh, not a whole lot going on over there along the South Carolina region. Activity South America kicking up a little bit. Uh, 5.1 in the Peru area. Up and down the northern uh, or the uh, center part here, the Prucelli Trench has seen a little swarm of movement. Nothing major at the moment. Also out here in the eastern Pacific or southern east Pacific rise, a 5.5. This area area does get uh, quite a few fives and occasionally a six up and down the board. 
Uh, what do we got out here in Hawaii? Southeast flank, pretty active. Not a whole lot going on around the Mauna Loa volcano at the moment. Just 1.9 here on the western side uh, at 10 kilometers. So just kind of taking a break, right? Kind of looks like we are taking a break here on the worldwide activity at the moment. But uh, things can definitely change in the blink of an eye. A little bit of heightened activity up here through Alaska into the Gulf of Alaska as well. Seeing that trail of movement up and down the Aleutian Trench and inland into the Anchorage area. Uh, this kind of looks a little heightened right now. So kind of could be a good indicator of some building up pressure. And could be, uh, could be the next target there for potential further movement on the map. Japan Trench remains relatively quiet. Only a little earthquake up here this morning off the coast of Russia. And a pretty uh, uh, shallow earthquake here into the uh, Japan area. 3.9 uh, for that earthquake. Indonesia area, a little bit of movement. Nothing significant. Papua New Guinea as well. Uh, down here around the Tonga area, that still continues here with a uh, pretty deep 4.6 into the Tonga Trench area uh, earlier today. Another 4.6 back upstream around the uh, volcano area, actually to the east of the volcanoes. Here's Hunga Tonga. Um, 4.6 struck pretty shallow here at about 10 kilometers just to the southeast of Tonga, or uh, southeast of the uh, Hunga Tonga volcano. Kermadec Trench, seen a little bit of movement, uh, 103 kilometers for that 4.8. Nothing uh, significant going on over here around the Middle East or the Mediterranean Sea. Turkey did have a measurable 4.7 uh, a little bit ago. South Sandwich Trench, other areas of the Atlantic and uh, Northern Atlantic all look pretty quiet. Nothing going on in the Arctic at the moment. Uh, let's see, we checked the trimmer department. Not a whole lot going on there. Solar weather, let's check this out real quick. Uh, just kind of make this a little short uh, update. Nothing too spectacular tonight. Uh, kind of tired. It's just been a tiring day. I don't know, it felt overwhelmingly tired for some reason. Uh, so things kind of being amplified here in the solar... Uh, weather department thanks to this mega this pretty huge sunspot towards the northern hemisphere and directly facing the earth they have raised the solar flare threat uh, look at that 10 percent chance there of an x flare popping off You're getting some elevated stable sea flares uh, within the last uh, quite a few hours the largest flare so far has been an m1.1 that was uh early yesterday but uh, I think this thing is getting ready to ramp up. Uh, there was coronal, ma coronal mass ejection, a CME observed, following the long duration M1.1 flare uh, around 2936. It is predicted to reach Earth by February 2nd. A moderate G2 level geomagnetic, geomagnetic storm watch was officially added uh, by the uh, Space Weather Prediction Center. So uh, that's kind of explains why we're seeing that G2 class storm here on February 2nd with, uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. KP index of six popping up. Although tonight, not as, uh, not as active, but it looks like we're getting a little bit of movement or a little bit of heightened activity here in the, uh, in the higher latitudes. Seventy percent chance of uh, aurora on higher latitudes. It looks like tomorrow night, or yeah, tomorrow night looks like. But uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see how strong this comes in at. Uh, but uh, definitely need to watch for potential X flaring uh, from twenty nine thirty six, which is directly viewing us with its eye right there. And uh, we've got some further sunspots behind it that are starting to ramp up a little bit. Of course, the sunspot activity will be heightened as we head into the solar maximum it's pretty cool i think i love uh weather i love solar activity i hate when everything's dead and at a standstill that's not my type of environment i'm not a stale fair weather person <laughs> i'll be blunt it's not me i like activity and when we see activity on the sun that is pretty cool i love it uh so yeah watching it pretty closely folks uh 2936 over the next uh well it could be any time we could start seeing uh, some major flaring pop off here. It uh, looks like 90% chance given, right? We're almost in the sea flare category right now, so that's, uh, that's a given. 
M flare, another M flare, forty percent chance. So we'll see what this, what uh, what she wants to do. Pretty big, pretty big uh, sunspot there on the map. All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. We will chat at you another time of volcanic activity. Nothing major or significant going on around the world. Uh, I did mention that I will be covering that uh, more op more uh, more often. Just not a whole lot going on. Um, at the moment when it comes to new volcanic activity but uh, as always we'll definitely try to include that in our updates and uh, kind of format that into the uh, into the bigger picture all right guys have a good night stay safe out there peace out